Let's translate Genesis 2, 24. Alkane Yaazav Ish Eth Aviv Eth Imo Vidavach Beishto Vahayu Levasar Echav Thus so over thus a man will leave his father and his mother and will cling to his wife and they will be one flesh we have our conjunction alchain then the man will leave his father and his mother and he will cling to his wife and they will be one flesh. Therefore, thus so, for that reason, a man will leave his father and his mother and will cleave to his wife and they will be one flesh. Let's look at the vocabulary. Alkane. So we have all here. It means on, over, above. But in this context, it's a combination. And so we have for that reason, on this account. If we look at Cain. Here we are. Alkane. For that reason. Therefore, so it happens that. For some reason, it does not, Halo does not have a gloss for Kane itself. So if we go to BDB, we do Kane. So thus, I'm not sure why it's not in Halo. That's really concerning. But this is why you don't live and die by one lexicon either. So all Kane, for that reason, a man will leave. So this is Cal and Perfect, third masculine singular. Azav, to leave, to be at a distance, widowed, unmarried. Uh, that's not the context here. To leave. It, it does have the sense of abandonment. Abandons father and mother. And cleave, devak, cling, cleave to. So you leave and then you cleave. It means to stick to. And it says with ba, and we have that here with ba. Clings to what? His woman, his wife. So the word in Hebrew, isha, is both woman and wife. It's totally appropriate to say, this is my woman. When you speak in that kind of terminology, you're saying, this is my wife. Clings to his wife and haya to be. So this is Cal Perfect Third, common plural. It is consecutive, Vav consecutive, so the opposite of the perfect. So it can mean, haya can mean to be, it can also mean become. And so this could actually be translated, and they will become one flesh. You don't have to use will, so you could say, and they become one flesh. Either way is acceptable. The key thing to note is l. In this instance, it's best left untranslated. Instead, it simply marks, it indicates the result, the product of the action. The action here is to be or to become. What's the result of that? becoming one flesh. That's what it means 
when you leave father and mother and you cling to your wife, the two of you become one flesh. That is the result of leaving and cleaving. Basar, it means skin, flesh. It can mean part of the body. So it can be a reference to the uh, human genitals. As an extension, it can mean uh, your relatives. And that's likely the case here. Achad means one. And so we have our translation. For that reason, a man will leave his father and his mother and will stick with his wife and they will become one flesh. If you liked this video, hit the like button. Brush up on that Greek, brush up on that Hebrew, and we'll see you next time.